This is the wood that we got last year from the mountains and we moved it up from the fence line to the house. It was drying along the fence line and some of it needed split. It's Saturday, I think, and we have on board the parents, David and Tacoma, and we have a full load, almost. We're really close, but what we're doing is, um, I left my <laughs> shoes up here the other day. They're just $3, um, kind of like slipper things when I went off running with um, Esther and Samson. So that's why we're coming up here to see if they made it, if they survived through the night, if they're still here. Oh, I might see them. I'm not sure. bears up here and moose but they were camel so um that helped oh no i'm teasing these were three dollars at walmart <laughs> and i've been wearing them all summer outside inside let's get a good view of these guys and maria <laughs> the camera girl tacoma did not want to come david really wanted to come he knew since last night i told him and he totally knew this morning and the reason why is because there's a fox at home and Tacoma's keeping an eye on it and I know Coma. This will be Tacoma's probably one and only trip this year because she is 100% guardian at heart and I even wonder if I should have brought her this one time, okay? Then you go back to the fox and you can look for him. Bighorn Mountains. We we're cutting wood early this morning. We're already finished. It's about 8 20 a.m. And it just this goes on for miles. <laughs> it goes down into the forest and it's up in this meadow. And the smell is like really heavenly. I don't know what heaven smells like, but this is pretty as close as I've been to on earth. Um, it smells like lilacs in, in this amount so strong and so beautiful and with us today I have Goliath and the biggest puppy well he was born the biggest puppy I think Solomon's the biggest puppy possibly they're about they're similar and I have Esther here who's always on guard and these two we brought them together because these two have played <laughs> I've been playmates since they were just little puppies they ambush each other stalk each other run and play and I thought it'd be fun to bring these two today. I wish I could capture on video the scent that we're smelling right here. So we're just going to take a, a little bit of time and just enjoy God's beauty all around. A mosquito! <laughs> Quarter to 5 a.m. We've been getting up. Hi, Saul. <laughs> Hi, Goliath. 
Hi guys. Around um, 4.30 a.m. I don't have an alarm. I don't set an alarm. So I'm waking up about 4.30 every day. The reason we're getting up early is because Lorraine is expecting a baby. It's one of our alpacas. So is Freedom. But I think Lorraine will go first. You can see bugs out here. It's really not, not as bad as it looks. Wow. Hey, hey. Gaia. Good. It's Goliath. So I'm taking up some sweet feed and they will get hay. Everybody will get hay. Hi, David. David was on night duty. Yes, he was. Thank you, David. I won't put that light in his eyes. But we'd like to be back early enough like by 10 a.m or 10 30 which is what we've been getting back by so if there is a baby that they're in if the baby needed any help it wouldn't he or she wouldn't be just laying out in the hot sun but hopefully everything will go okay and they won't need assistance and but if they do we'll be back real soon before afternoon hits Let's go. Hi, Tabriska. Good morning, Jim. Good morning, Summer Rain. And Spirit, and Lily Pearl, and Asher, Prince Charming, Swingly, and Freedom. Caspian, and Tony, and Blessing, and Theodore. And I see Antares over there. And Lily Pearl is looking for a mint that I put in my pocket for her. A wagon box. And there's Johnny. And I see Cash. Oh, there's Vivian. And Cash. And Betty White. Let's put your peppermints. Johnny. <laughs> Asher. Lily Pearl. Let's go have breakfast. <laughs> Our spring chicks, they're buff Brahmas, they still live in the house at night time.
maybe 25 kids total and they were really good it was a lot of fun is very vocal and he likes to reestablish his position in the pack when he gets home. You ready? Yes. We'll go see the puppies. David will go in the truck with mommy. He already knows. Yes. <laughs> I told him this morning. So he has this extra swagger today. <laughs> So I normally run when I get home after we unload the wood and so today I thought I'd run out instead up here on the mountain and then I'll have less to run when I get home. So I always run with the dogs on leashes when I'm off property to respect the trails so other people can use them because I don't want dogs running up to them. Here, I knew we were at the end of a dead end trail and I was asked, but would they stay with you? So I did that just to show, yes, they would stay with me. We're up here, I don't know what time it is, 6 a.m., 6.30 a.m. Um, I got to run in, Maria's been driving and I run in, so I get my three mile run in. Before we get down, it's been like triple digits down below. But I wanted to show you the saw. So this one, this one, this one, my very first chainsaw that I got used. It's a Husqvarna 
235 and the first several years when I first learned how to use a chainsaw which was eight years ago I just learned it on her own um, and watching YouTubes and watching people cut and that's how that's how I learned and then I graduated to this one was its lifespan was going <laughs> yeah, I think so um, moved a few years ago to this Husqvarna 455 rancher which I just heard they don't make the 455s anymore that's what I'm going to use today and I figure we've cut about 65 loads of wood Maria since we started cutting our own wood and we haven't had to have the propane filled we don't do that anymore it's just filled we cook off the wood in the in the winter and then the fall and early spring and then the summer we use propane a tiny bit on the stove the kitchen stove if we want popcorn or if we're cooking vegetables okay, so i'm going to try to start this up it's been starting usually first time first second time and keep the air filter clean and do that kind of maintenance with an air compressor at home So we're ready to head home. I ran out a little ways with Dave. It's kind of hot for him. So then he jumped in the truck. And now what we do on the drive up and the way down is we eat. We've eaten so much trail mix. And one of my favorite things, I think we both like, is we're gonna have black beans with jalapeno and lime on the way back. 23 grams of protein. I love eating clean. I love waking up with energy. I've never had coffee in my whole life. This is not an advertisement for any any brand of black beans. One of the biggest myths are you can't get enough protein if you don't eat the dead body of an, of an animal that got so strong and fit and amazing without eating the dead body of an animal. Except we have to go home and check on the rain. <laughs>
trip and we also got some posts and rails so we can do some fencing have some fun with some fencing work before we head down we're going to grab a pie at Bear Lodge we chose a mountain medley pie which is blackberries black raspberries strawberries rhubarb and apple dear lord we thank you for this mountain medley pie we thank you for keeping us safe and healthy and keeping our animals safe and healthy also as we cut firewood in your beautiful mountains thank you for the memories we made thank you for the firewood and we ask you to bless and watch over everyone who is watching this we ask these things in jesus name amen that's right dave look at that guys we would share some if we could since we can't, we'll just eat it ourselves. Maria. Mm, very good. I like the berries and the fruit, and David likes the crust. So, you like some wood crust? One more thing we have to do before we head off this mountain. <sighs> Woohoo! As for Lorraine here, cooling off, she has not had her baby yet, but it worked out really well getting up at 4.30, so we're glad we did it. We did it to be home for her, but I think we may do that again next year. <laughs> 